Welcome to Anna Graphics Channel. Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Jobo Emma Graphics. If you are new here, consider subscribing and click on the notification bell to get notified whenever I post a new video. So today I'm going to teach you how to design a business flyer with Pizzle App. Um, trust me guys, you are going to learn a lot in this tutorial. So stick around. So now let's get started. Firstly, we are going to delete this. And then come to our image size. I'm going to change this to 1748 by 2480 and then I'm going to change the color to this color blue I need a solid background for now a solid background for now so after doing this I'm coming to my import I want to import my shape Okay guys, so this is the shape we are using. It is a six sided shape. It is not in pixel out shapes. Assuming it is there, I would have taken it from there. So I have to download this from Google Chrome. Well don't worry, I will drop the link in the description. So after importing it, you have to go to your size and then Reduce your size to 23. You can see this. You are going to reduce your size to 23. And then you take it up. Like this. You are going to use your position to, to take it inside. So the half part will be showing like this and after doing that I'm, I will copy it like this and then increase the size to 25 or 26 will be ok and then I'm going to use my position to, to drag it here. So we're going to leave it like this for now. After doing this, I'm, I'm still going to copy it again. So now I'm not changing the size now. I'll just have to position it like this. Like this. So after doing it like this, I'll just have to copy this and then change the size to 20 or 21. Okay, 20, 20, 20, and then I'll take it up. Like this. And see, I make use of my position too, guys. So, after doing that, is, I'm also going to copy it again. I'm also going to copy this, and I'll make this 33. The size is going to be 33. And then I'm also I'm going to leave it like this. Okay guys, so lastly, we are going to copy this and bring it here. We are not changing any size, any size here. It's going to be 25. Okay. So after having this I 
after having this yeah step it for, for you just to mark everything together like this you can see you match it together then come to your color the gradient color I'm using this particular gradient color then I'm going to come here to this particular side and click on transparent like this then I'm going to save this as an image ultra save to gallery that saving is click here to go back it and I'm, I'm also going to change this color so you can see what I'm doing and then I'm going to hide this I'll come to my import I'll import the file I save now this is it guys and crop it like this and I bring it here and I'll resize it So I click on it, come to my texture, and come to where you see the file. I think I choose this and then scale it down like this. Scale it down like this. Okay, we have this now. So, so right now I'm going to import the six sided shape again. This is it. I forgot to save it down there to save our time. Okay. So after having this, I'm gonna change the color. So this gradient color and then use the size like this then I take it up it's my elliptic position to and I use my position to to take it here sorry guys Uh, click on it again. I copy it. I take it to the middle. After that, I also copy it again and bring it and reduce the size to 14 and change the color. To color white and take it inside like this. Then I group it together. that I use the size take it up again like the other one you can see this and then I also copy it and bring it to the middle like this you see we have a nice effect on our business flyer now kindly subscribe to my channel guys so you have to take this up a little like this boom we have this then I'm going to lock everything and change this color to color white we are done you can see how it is looking nice and now we import our logo the business logo This is the business logo. Okay, then I do the size and then bring it here and then come to my test. Edit, delete this, <coughs> and then write business company. 
capital capital letter the font I'm using for this the font I'm using for this is Asimov so then okay as you can see black here is not that dark so I'm using this dark black and then this is the size I think the company logo is just too small okay it's okay like this take this I think it is okay for now then I come to my test again edit creative I come here to my font coming to my best my best font font red black and then I'll come to my color give it a black color like this you can see this and then copy it at the cancel business this one will be more big so Click on this copy, bring it to the middle layer. Layer template. Then I'm changing the font. I'm using the font called Asimov and Start changing the font. I'm going to change the color also to a gradient color. I think this is okay, like this. So, guys, I have to. Make this big, more bigger. I want it to be edible enough, and this sorry guys I have to adjust it and this this size will be reduced I want it to be aligned that's why I'm doing all this your work has to be aligned okay so then we have this then choose this, copy it, edit, and write company. Okay, and then I also bring this here and also make it align with the first one. And then I come here, choose French language. English was sources then change it to okay guys I'm, I'm not gonna choose anything here anything let me just choose this short one okay sorry for that 
I can't be finding the one I use. Okay, and then use this particular font, featureability. You can use the font you like, but I love feature because it is a corporate font. Okay. I know this is not the particular test I use for my thumbnail, but I'm sorry. You have to be fast. Not to waste your time. I know some people don't like to watch long videos. Okay, and you also have to align this. You have to align it. You must learn how to align your work. Yeah, we have this. Very, very beautiful. So now, the next step for us come to your shape, choose circle shape, and then. Let me change the color so you get to see what I'm doing, and then I scale it down like this, like like this. I have to make it big. Then, then. I do it like this. <coughs> Sorry, guys. And then draw another circle shape. But before drawing that, I have to lock the first one like this. Okay, so we can leave it like this, or we should take it up a little bit. Yes, it is, and I'm also going to lock it. Okay, so click on the first one. That is the red one. I want to change the color to this. Is a nice color like this. You can see this, it's very, very beautiful. It's blending, and then, and then we are making, we are making use of our busy art tool now. You know what, guys? If you haven't subscribed to this YouTube channel, you are missing a lot. Okay, can you subscribe? So you click on this. Let me use my sign so you'll be able to see what I'm doing. You click on this. I hope you can see that. See, after I click on that, it gives me a point. Then I come here, I also click on this. Click on this so I'll be able to take it here. You can see I am I, I can I can bring it, I can adjust it to anywhere low. Then you also click on this. I hope you can see this one. Then start clicking on this. Click here, use your curve. To adjust it like this, then curve it, shape it like this. It's very very simple to use because I noticed that so many people find it difficult to use Vizier too. It's very very simple. If you are using it every day, you be you be able to use it. You can cancel it if you made a mistake. So you just click here. I have to bring this here. Click 
if you want to tap on that, on that place you have to click on this plus and then click here you can see that then I use my you have to adjust it like this you can always adjust you can always use adjust your busier to you can see then click on this again you also click here use your shape to adjust it like this okay then you click here again click here and you join it use what you use to join it guys I use this to join it this cycle one this one side could you can see that so you click on it you see it has joined then you come here and then shape it make it perfect you have to make it perfect so there won't be any mistake you have to be very you have to do it gently trust me these are two very very interesting to use it's very very simple and I'm sure that you'll find it easy by the end of this video. Okay, then I come and I come to my capacity, I increase it to 100%, and come to my stroke, and I decrease it to zero. Okay, after that, you come to your texture, and then I come to my download. I think it is my download. I choose this. Okay, you can see this very, very, very nice. You can see the effect. It's very, very simple. I can see you edit it. You can see the edit. You can see edit it and bring this here. Okay, you can see, guys. You can see edit it. If you see that you don't like it yet or it is not a perfect to front and you know what guys I'm going to click on this first cycle shape and this cycle shape and then put it to front you can see this then choose this copy like this delete this and write V offer capital letter and then bring it here and the size okay then come to the size like this after that come here I'm going to change it to I'm going to change the language to French language success let me just choose this one it's very very short okay then come to your front Picture bit medium the size I have to make it small and bring it here. Still have to make the size small. Then I'm going to come to my align, put it to right hand side and the color I'm giving it a white color then the size to make it edible bring it like this choose this 
bring it down a little bit and choose this again copy edit then you write start growth videos calculator then bring it here and the size I'm going to decrease it I'm going to reduce the size like this and then so guys you are getting to the last place we are getting to the last place of this flyer we are going to import our last image so this is it don't worry guys i'm going to drop the link of all this file in the description okay you do the size and then That is why it's good to lock your work. It is good to lock your work. You see that you can't move again. So you do it. And bring it here. And choose this. Come here. Copy. Edit. The RAM. Revision. Low. One, two, three, four. Okay. Then I also come to my align. You can see I've already I've already aligned it to the right hand side before. So then you come to your line padding, sorry, line spacing, and then you space it like this. You can see like this. So guys. I'm sure you can do this on your own now so I would like you to subscribe to my channel subscribe to my channel give this video a thumb up and don't forget to click on the notification bell to get notified whenever I post a new video thank you bye see you in my next video